Hi guys, Marcus from Spotix Underwater Vision here. And today we're going to take a look at how you can input GPS data to your ROV or drop camera feed uh, that you might be running in queue ground control. Uh, now, of course, there's lots of ways that you can do this uh, to get the, the absolute position of your vehicle, um, you know, using something like USBL. Um, but this method is about sending the uh, top side GPS position um, to Q ground control. So in this case, if your vehicle uh, needs GPS either for navigation or logging purposes, then definitely don't use this method. However, if you're happy just to have a, an approximate position uh, for the, your ROV survey or to record the track of the um, path of your vessel as you're doing a drop camera survey, then this method is going to be just fine for you. So the software that we're going to need, we're going to need our Q ground control, obviously, to run our uh, vehicle. We're going to need our NMEA router. Um, I'll post the link uh, in an overlay uh, on this video. And also a, a helpful um, piece of software is Visual GPS View. And in terms of the hardware that we need, obviously we need our ROV or drop camera uh, that's going to be running uh, ArduSub firmware and we also need a GPS. So you can use a simple uh, USB GPS that just plugs into the USB port of your PC or you can use a, a serial to USB uh, adapter on your, your handheld GPS. You could probably even use the Boats um, plotter if it had a, a suitable um, NMEA output. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is open up uh, Visual GPS View just to confirm that the um, PC is receiving uh, GPS data. Uh, so we've just got a small GPS module collected to the, connected to the USB port. So we just go Tools, Connect to GPS, and in this case uh, the GPS is connected to um, comms port 12. So we select that. I know that the board rate is 4800. So we click OK. And then we can see that the PC is receiving GPS data, um, so we know that it's functioning correctly. Uh, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and open up NMEA router. We need to set up some connections. So we can close Visual GPS View and open up NMEA router. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to configure, make a new connection, connection one, Serial, enabled, OK. Um, again, we need to connect to the correct COM port, which we know is COM12. It's 4800. Uh, these error messages, don't worry about them. They don't affect anything. Uh, 4800, uh, it's input, and we click OK. Now we can see that uh, NMEA router is receiving GPS data. Next, we have to open another new connection. Uh, this one could be called connection two, but this one is going to be a UDP connection. Uh, we need to click enabled and OK. Uh, this one is going to be an output. The remote host is going to be 192.168.2.2. And the remote port is 27000. Click OK there. So we've got our two connections now. Um, you can see we've got um, Q ground control running in the background, and um, we've got a, a sub connected. It doesn't have a video source, but the actual sub is connected. Um, I've switched off all the other attributes just so that we can see latitude and longitude, and you can see that we're not receiving any, any data yet. What we need to do is go configure, route, make a new route. So it's found that we've already made connection one and connection two. We need to enable that and click OK. Those two. will then start GPT talking to each GPS other. Underscore type to one. Okay, so you can see we're starting to get positional data through here on our gauge, and this is going to be captured in any of the screen recordings that we might make of the survey. It's also going to be recorded in the telemetry log, which we can download later. And you can see that the software has found us on the aerial map there. 
So that's it guys. Um, as I mentioned, this is just for inputting topside positional data and if your survey does need more accurate um, subsea uh, positioning, then obviously you need to look into one of the other methods. Um, but if that's not um, critical, then yeah, give this method a go. Thanks a lot for watching.